Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Wait. Oh, I didn't even get to see what that said. I think it was new information for Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Oh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. Hey, I think I gotta rewind again. And go talk to the cop. Why is it so slow? For more info? What can I do for you, Max? I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. Oh, you don't want it. I better finish my breakfast first. We'll chat later, Max. Okay. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. Oh, that, I guess that, never mind. Don't mind me. Oh, what was the last choice? We'll chat later, Max. Oh god, I'm not far enough, I guess. What can I do for you, Max? Why is there a adoption? Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't no. blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. How does that help me? How does that help me? Exactly. We'll see. Nothing. It doesn't help me. I'm confused. What can I do for you, Max? Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. Okay, well, I have no idea. Oh, Nathan was here. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh, would wish oh look! Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Ooh. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Oh man, we have all of that though. We need a way to get those keys, but... Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. 
He'll hook your ass up. Well, that was first shot. Okay, higher education. So. <sighs> yep. By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. And I'll back off. Oh, that didn't work well. What the frick? Okay. Wait. What if we just go to Nathan and say he fa didn't? Is that an option? Holy shit! What do you want now? It didn't work. It literally did not work. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Facebook message, sorry. Speaking of tattoos, my sister sent me a tattoo. Design done by somebody. Holy shit, what do you want now? <gasps> I don't know. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? I Calm thought you down, already were mine. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Holy shit, <laughs> what do you want now? I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off what my crack, it? whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Ooh, Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. I guess that was the thing. You're gonna stop me from asking now. Ooh, get a okay, new about outfit. Blood of and leave me alone. What? Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I need to rewind. Wait, what? Get a new outfit. And leave me alone. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I need to rewind. What have I should not have said? Hi, guy. How's it going? Holy shit! What do you want now? Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even it. Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. Ooh. Alrighty. Guess that's what I need. Maybe. Get a new outfit. And leave me alone. What am I supposed to do? I shouldn't have said that. I need to rewind. I guess I need Are you gonna talk to me now? You eat like a pig. What? Try the floor. 
I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I did not mean to do this. I can't. I did not mean to spill your beans. I wanted to talk to you. I pressed the wrong thing. Re do again. Speak. Um, buy drugs in that work. Rachel's photo. You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh how, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. Oh, the keys are right there, but I can rely. Can I put that photo? I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. What? You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Get wrong. All right, should be fine now, right? He put no, he's so he brought now back to Chloe. He didn't even think about it. That took so long. Oh, hey, I forgot your name. Are you <gasps> shitting me? Oh, man, that girl is just having the worst for me. Get over to her before she gets it. Oh, God dang it. It goes so fast. Alyssa, watch out! There we go. Quick thinking, Max. <laughs> oh God, say that girl more times than anything. Um. Oh, oh, hey, yeah. We're no, it's on the other side. This took so long. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. Oh, you're sending me? Oh, never mind. On your mark, get set. Throw! Oh, no. Uh, not towards the road. Parking lot. Hit the treat, treat, boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Hmm. The joy of watering? Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. He had a photo of her too. You didn't know that, but... Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. Hmm. You scope oh. the area while I hack his computer for info. Oh, of course. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nat. Is of that? course Frank gets the munchies. Oh. Photo? That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Oh. Vent? What's in the vent? Blowtorch? Crappy wife out here. I was taking days to download the porn. Yuck. Let's open this. He might be hiding something. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. There's a blowtorch on the bed, but I wouldn't recommend. No more secrets. Ooh, Frank's stash. 
the bell. We need a screwdriver or something. Don't tell me it's going to be the... How can somebody live like this? It's not going to literally be the blowtorch, is it? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Just a little, but you did have the option to take it, so... Oh? Another one? Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. The second time you said that. Hold on. Nope, prescription pills. Oh, hey, that knife actually. This is would almost help. as good as a set of keys. It's another Whoa, two what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. Curses. Nothing here. Okay. Should put that back on. Okay, this vent is loose. But I need something to pry it open. But where'd the knife go? Did the knife break? I don't know what happened to the knife there, but I guess we'll my blade know. will open any portal. Well, something's there. Account book. Oh man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B. Hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you and poor Pompadou. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here, and I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. Heart. Rachel Amber. Twenty thirteen. I found the book. Oh my God. That background though. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on the stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Mad. He's gonna be looking for those. And then we can knock this dog out. Okay. I was thinking his dog got hit. I was gonna freak out. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Nobody's it's fault. just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh. Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make yes. me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? William or David. You blame She's William? Dad. Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? 
No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. majorly late for school now but we're here Oh my god. What is happening now? That was weird. on the photo. Oh, it's so close though. Oh god, this thing's so sick. Oh, it's so close though. What more do you want? There we go. It's gonna say, where do you want me to take this? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crackers. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? We. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. I love William like he was in my own family. I won't let him die today. I won't. That's messing with fate. I am when your mom is. Joyce loves William so much. Good luck, hubby. We're so proud of your promotion. You get a week of two whales waffles in your own house. Your loving wife. Right. I'll let her know that. What am I doing here? I must find a way to stop William from taking his car. Oh, okay. I guess I we gotta take his keys. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Uh, I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. You're ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Show me where your keys are so I can jack them next time, I guess.
Aha! Uh -huh. You can't hide from me? Oh, no, no, no. Jack and four of the cup fathers? Do you remember how many eggs? Monster. Score! That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? No, like somebody doesn't have the spare keys. So I am. When I your mom is away. Well. I'll let her know that. Alright, I guess I just wait. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Oh. Yeah, they were in a drawer. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work. I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. Thanks for the day trip to the lighthouse. The sketch is for you to always remember. It's two ways. Oh. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I know they never took that big vacation. Oh, they are supposed to go to Italy or Florida and everywhere. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? Yeah, you're right. That's a dollar for the swear it. jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. Oh, that's a problem. I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That I... makes all of us. Uh, I could rewind. Oh, no, I can. Whoa, I didn't know you had a key spark. What do I do now? Um Do I still have the keys? Do I not still have the keys? Remember how many yeah, eggs? What do I do? What Mom do said I do? it depends. What do, I do? What do I do? That's true. Throw keys so out the window? Eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. That did not work. Right. Like you're the real cook here? I am. When your mom is away. I'll let her know that. I guess. Yeah, you can't hear them now. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Totally did not disturb my phone, though. Forgot you, little buddy. Release the keys! Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great! It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and joys and groceries and... and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Until the bus crashes. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome.
Well, we did something here. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Really wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so hard. I know. Sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? No, Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Something weird here. Warren, what? he hooked up with Stella? Mm, you messed with things. Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Look at your clothes. Oh yeah, you friends with her anymore. Oh. That is awkward. They probably wouldn't be friends anymore because you know she moved out of town and who knows who her new friend was. Chloe, I'm talking about Chloe when Max moved out and came back. A beach whale. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. You haven't looked like you aged at all. We screwed up a timeline. This is why you don't go change things in the past. Um, 51% stole money. Nearly half and half. 77% kiss Chloe. Yep. Does that. 81% sided with Chloe. 7% got Frank's dog hurt. Why? 
93% did. Good thing we're in majority. Chloe has David's gun. Frank has... We could have found the gun. Frank. We probably could have. I didn't even think about that. Lisa is alive. Lisa is dead. Who's Lisa? Lisa. That's gonna bother me. You helped Morn with his exam. You didn't help Morn. Yeah, I did. That was from the last one. Um, I'm not on the party list. Didn't know I could be. Didn't know you could change the party list and want to. You didn't erase the cop's message. I don't know. You have Alyssa? Yes, I did. You didn't warn the harm homeless What homeless woman? Why? You took a photo in the past. You didn't take a photo in the past. I didn't know that was an option. You left a mark on a fireplace. You didn't leave a mark on the fire. I didn't. Again, didn't know. Didn't, there were so many options. Okay. of the world party mm -hmm. dark room episode four. Oh boy well that should do it then until next episode i think there's only five hey, yep we are literally almost done that's crazy Well, ooh, that was a ride. But again, yeah, don't. This is, well, people say if you change things in the past, that people will always want to change and make different decisions. Um, they would, but you know, some people believe things happen for a reason, and. You can't change some things, you could just carry on, but I don't know. I guess I'm also one of those believers that if you try to go back to the past and you did try to change something major that happened, you're gonna just, it's gonna, well, there's different ways. People interpret it kind of like here, well, something else is going to happen. Uh, or multiple things will happen in kind of like a different timeline of events. But I guess in my belief that if you're trying to go back in the past and change something, like for example, what I always use, uh, if you go to the past and you try to stop Hitler from doing what he did, even if you stopped him from doing that, somebody else would take his place. Maybe not at that moment, but somewhere down the line. Like, the same, if it's meant to happen, I mean, that same thing will happen in a different person perspective. Like, I don't know. And I guess I can't say that's exactly what is going to happen. I mean, who can say? Because we can't time travel. Well, I mean, I guess there's speculation people can time travel, but... <sighs> That's what I kind of believe, though. I mean, everyone's different. But I'm saying if it's meant to happen, which a lot of things do happen in history, if you try to erase something or someone, just something and someone is going to be put right back in that place in that situation, eventually again. So maybe that might have been, it's not proven, but that might have been happened, what happened in the case of Chloe at the end of that uh, scenario where, uh, I forgot Chloe's dad's name already, that's bad, but he's alive, 
but maybe Chloe was the one in the car accident now, or something. I guess, I don't know, maybe that will play out in the next episode what happened, but maybe that's what kind of happened instead of him, it's her now. But she's alive, but now it looks like she could be paralyzed, and who knows. But we'll figure out what happens now, I guess, in the next episode, since we did that. Until then, see ya. Thank you for watching. Bye.